Little girls. Hey everybody, it's your old buddy Jim again with East Tennessee Preparedness, taking care of the chickens. I fed them this morning and they were about out of food in their trash can I got in there so I put them some uh, scratch grains and some the shells, I forget what it's called, but it helps harden their eggs and they are still laying like crazy, I've kept track. The last eight days I've got 55 eggs, which is more than I can eat, but my neighbor likes them. Right now I've got four in here, so I'll come back later and check. But I hope everybody's had a good week. Doing good on my foot. Feels great for a change. But just figured I'd show you how I take care of the chickens. Uh, make sure they have water every morning, let them out. Put them up in the evenings. Need to shovel their coop out again. It's starting to stink pretty good. Uh, I've been piddling around in the garden this week, turning the dirt over and getting it ready to plant. Can't wait. I enjoy it. And I hope you're putting out a garden this year. Turned over where I had the straw bales last year. See right there. And I'm going to when I shovel the coop out, I'm going to put all the chicken poop on that because I'm not going to use that this year. I'm going to keep working it. I'll probably put straw bales right over there in that empty spot. Probably going to use nine. Nine straw bales. I've got 12 garden beds. And I'll put my buckets back out. I'm going to try potatoes in the buckets again. I don't know why. I'm just stubborn. I will grow potatoes one of these days. Other than that just hanging out enjoying life may as well it's better than going through life miserable like some of our uh, leftist friends they seem that they're always miserable so they want to try to make the rest of the world as miserable as they are I never thought a cartoon skunk could get cancelled now they're going after Speedy Gonzales Scooby Doo you're next Elmer Fudd's gun offended them, but they could, you know, still go to the mommy's basement, play Grand Theft Auto, and all that other crap. Just my opinion. But, uh, it's time you got to start speaking up, speaking out, or you're going to get steamrolled. But I, I don't understand the anger or the cancel culture. I've never ever been offended by a Dr. Seuss book. Or Pepe Le Pew or Speedy Gonzalez. But if you have, God help you. There are a lot more things to worry about than that. Like uh, the dimwit we have in the White House. Can't string it together a coherent sentence. Let alone know what he's doing. But, oh well, I don't know anybody that really said they voted for Biden. It's just against the other guy that tweeted me. Now we've got a, you know, Obama built those facilities down on the border when Trump used them kids in cages. Now they're doing the same thing and it's welcoming centers. You know, if De Democrats didn't have double standards, they wouldn't have any standards at all. This my, just my take on this crazy craziness that's going on. But you need to start doing something or you ain't going to have no rights left. Freedom of speech is about gone. They're coming after the Second Amendment. Pretty soon the, the Bible will be uh, banned because it hurts somebody's feelings. Wait and see. All right, that's just my take. I'm in a good mood, so I'm going to quit talking about this. I'm going to make myself irritable. Everybody have a great week. Hope you have a good weekend. It's a beautiful day here. Absolutely beautiful. It's almost 70 degrees. So, won't be long till I get to play in the dirt. Everybody have a great week. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. Whatever floats your boat. 
Have a good one. I'll talk to you next time.